Hey guys, today is travel day and I'm leaving Nikiti right now. I'm going to Lagos to catch my flight. My flight is by 11 p.m. This is, this is 6 18 in the morning. I have like a six hours, five hours, six hours road trip to Lagos with my family. And then we'll go to the airport. I'm going to miss my room. I'm going to miss my room with my outfit very simple honestly pass <laughs> very simple outfit and taking some of my shoes and yeah lucky cheese is my I wanted to escape for a while thought that a couple of drinks could ease my mind I've been thinking of you for two weeks straight I know that I need to get myself back in the game someone said your name had a ton of Suddenly you're there standing in the crowd Everything comes back in the blink of an eye It's like you're mine, you're still mine They skip the small talk Cause you know me better than I Hey guys By Lagos We're in our apartment in Lagos And at the time we got to Lagos 11.45 and we got here at 45. I'll be leaving for the airport around maybe 4 30, 5, 6. <laughs> My flight is still at 11. But you know, Nigerian parents now. Ah, what did they do? What did they That you get there early so that you can do your things early and whatnot. So I checked the bus from Toronto to Sudbury because I was told that I need to um, book the bus tickets ahead. You know. So my hair name. I checked and I was my because my flight is landing twelve. My friend my flight is landing by twelve forty tomorrow, that Sunday. Um the next bus or the last bus for tomorrow to Sudbury from Toronto is by two PM. So it's very I don't know. I don't want to risk it because I don't know how long it would take me from immigration to um like finish everything before i come outside so i feel like i might not meet that two o'clock bus so the next thing for me now is to try to book like an airbnb for sunday then go to Sudbury from toronto on monday morning so i want to book the airbnb now i've seen one just to make payment and um i don't know what these people are looking for here it's just like i'm going to be traveling for three days Saturday, Sunday, so Monday. I'm, I'm, I'm not gone, but I'm stressed. I'm stressed already. God no good shame was. Know myself for my speed a while now since I saw you, but it feels like yesterday somehow. Time has stopped. Nothing's changed. Hey guys, I just finished checking in. <laughs> It took, it took a long time, like it, took, it was like a long process, like an hour-ish because I had to pay for extra luggage, I had to pay my bag, my bag was about weed, like no more Nigerians. I had like 25 kgs, I was 23 kgs, so it's like I have to remove some things. Also, um, I have to remove some things. Yeah, sure. I'm done. I paid for extra luggage. I paid one hundred and sixty-eight thousand for an extra bag. And yeah, I'm waiting for my flight. My flight is by eleven. So it's like past eight or so. So I'm waiting to check in. It's like by nine thirty. I'll go inside. I see. I see. Let me finish this thing. <laughs> we would like to wish you a pleasant flight, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thank you. Suddenly you're there standing in the crowd Everything comes back in the 
I'm hoping that this is the gate sharp. <laughs> but I've said that I won't get for like an hour before and those people too were going to Toronto. Well, I don't understand. So somebody else came and said that oh, we're in the wrong place and now I hear it too. I'm lining up. I don't know. I'm confused. But um, you move, I'll let you know if this is the right gate and everything right now. I'm so tired. Hey guys, we are on the plane right now to Canada. Like, I could not record that the airport. It was just a lot of things, different movement, cancellation. It was just a lot, and I could not just. Oh. I could not just um, record it. Yeah, hopefully this flight is smooth. It's um, eight hours. Light. I'm tired. My smack is turning me. Um, yeah, uh, I got disconnected. I was using the airport Wi Fi. I got disconnected so that I could not, I could not say proper goodbye to my people. I feel so bad. But, anyways. Yeah, I'm still at the window seat this period and it has this one has a charger compared to the one from Lagos to Frankfurt. That one does not have a place to charge your phone. I don't know, anything they give that to you, I always like what bad, 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 bad things. But yeah, I'm wearing my sweater already because it was a little bit of cold this morning. And yeah. Hard working every day. I'm stressed out. Twenty for seven, babe. No, no time outs. Wish we could fly away. You and I go to our favorite place. Oh yeah, yeah. Make special memories. Come down. 
blink of an eye It's like your mind, you're still mine They skip the small talk Cause you know me better than I Know myself for oh my It's been a while now since I saw you But it feels like yesterday somehow This is after 18 hours, <laughs> more than 18 hours because I traveled from Lagos. I've been from Lagos to Lagos as well. So like, let's see, like roughly over 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 24 hours. And yeah, this is my tired face. I've not had night. I've not showered. I've not done anything. I'm waiting for my taxi to take me to Sudbury. I have my luggage here. Done with immigration. Done with all those things. So yeah, this is familiary in. Canada. In Toronto right now, to going to sort three, four hours. Oh. Yeah, just looking for. I just sat down. I just, I just sat down at one part of the airport, and I'm tired. I'm really, really tired. But anyways, uh, I'll update you guys when my taxi comes. And yeah, taxi is coming by 4:30, and this is past three. And yeah. Hey guys, editing VBN here. I just wanted to tell you guys a gist. <laughs> like I wanted to give you guys my landing gist. Um, you know the clip where I said that oh I'm in Toronto and I'm sitting down waiting for my taxi and whatnot. Yeah. So I sat down there for like almost one hour, thirty minutes or two hours like that. And I was like, okay, let me charge my phone. There was no like outlet to charge your phone very close to you, so you have to get up. So I saw like an outlet where you can charge my where you can charge your phone, but and there was no seat there, so I had to like go walk there and it was opposite where I was sitting down actually. So <laughs> I was standing there, I was making calls and trying to like keep myself busy, you know, and not get bored because I'm really one that travels. One tip, if you can find somebody that you can travel with, oh my god, it will save your life because traveling alone was not very, I mean, it was cool, but it's not like it's terrible, but like, if you have people that you're traveling with, it will be like fun and interesting. Back to the gist. I was standing there looking for where to charge my phone, right? I'll be charging my phone in this case, and I just saw one guy, he went, like, he was just working, I was thinking I was just working, like, it's the airport, you know? Like if it was just going somewhere or something like that. I just thought that, oh, he went very close to my bag. Oh, Jesus. So that was how I was standing there and the guy would just walked very close to my bag. Then I was like, okay. He went back again. He looked at the camera, looked everywhere. Then he wanted to, he put his hand inside my bag. And I was just like, hey, so what's up? He was like, oh, don't worry. Sorry. I was just passing by. I just wanted to, I would have dropped it. Like you would have, you would have dropped what? What carried you to the place in the first place? Like, what asked you to put your head inside my bag in the first place? You want to take my purse? Ah. What shocked me? I was like, eh? I've not even sp I've not spent two hours in this Canada. And you want to do you you want to use Canada for me? Like, you wanna is this how you do in this place? Is this how you people do in this place? Ah uh, no. I was surprised. <laughs> then I was shocked. I mean, like, nah. If they had stolen my purse, if I was not looking and somebody had stolen my purse, I mean I'd have cried. <laughs> God. Anyways, that's the, the the landing gist that I have for you. Hey guys, I'm so tired. Um, on my way to Sudbury, I think we have like two hours left. And yeah, there's been a nice ride and conversation with my new friend. <laughs> and yeah. Sun is shining. We stop to get gas and we we'll continue our journey. I'm so tired. I've been on the road for a long time. I look like a mess right now. But so far, Canada is beautiful. It's kind of cool. Just giving me Cyprus winter vibe. Even though this is not winter, this is like 
they are living winter death like spring ish so I just imagine how winter is going to be like this is our normal winter in Cyprus which is well um called a couple of friends and we went out but I never thought I'd see your face I really wanted to escape but it was just too late someone said you need how to turn around suddenly you're there standing in the crowd everything comes back in the blink of an eye